Well, on top of the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the supply chain, inflation, it looks like a work stoppage could be coming for CP Rail as well. For more on that, let's go to Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Tyler, this could happen as early as Sunday. Yeah, it's very concerning with regards to the union representing engineers, conductors, and other train workers at a standstill right now over things like wages and benefits moving forward. But nearly 50 business organizations across the country are anxious enough that they're calling on Ottawa to intervene. This includes everybody from the Retail Council of Canada to the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. The problem is, is that if rail traffic is disrupted, that has a butterfly effect on unloading cargo from marine shipping, as well as getting that on to truck transportation and even air freight. It would create major shock waves and drive up costs for Canadian consumers at a time that we're facing record inflation right now. Now, look, strike notice, of course, is a negotiation tactic, but if they follow through by Sunday, it could have giant impacts on just everyday Canadians. This is why it's so concerning for these business organizations right now. Yeah, that's concerning, no doubt. Okay, from rail travel to air travel, a number of American businesses are looking to come back to BC with those travel rules changing on April the 1st, but some are saying it's still not quite perfect. Yeah, well, look, uh, we have some good news here. Seattle's Kenmore Airlines says it's ready to relaunch flights from uh, Seattle to Vancouver and Victoria on April 1st. That, that's very, very soon. And look, uh, by late May, they could even be flying over to BC's Discovery Islands and Desolation Sound. CEO Todd Banks says he's thrilled by developments on this side of the border. The big elephant in the room, though, is that the American officials, they still require that there are pre-entry tests going on flights into the United States, not necessarily driving over the border, that that's fine to do, but it makes it less financially viable for a company like this to have flights going back and forth if there's additional costs for average folks coming into the United States. So economics a little shaky for now. There, there's hope that things could be resolved, but for those in Southern BC looking to maybe take in a Seattle Kraken game on the fly, those flight tickets looking at about $200 either from Victoria or Vancouver. Nice. That's good. And that team's pretty terrible. So hopefully those tickets are cheap. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler Orton, Business in Vancouver.